Okay. Now, Newton's first law, we just said, if the forces, if the forces are balanced, then there is no acceleration, okay? You can use this law backwards, right? We just had previously said, sorry, we can use it backwards to the way we've just used it. The way we just used it is we said, okay, well, let's find out if they're balanced. If they're not balanced, it's gonna accelerate. This time though, we're gonna say the force, the, sorry, the particle has no acceleration. It's either got constant speed um, or it's at rest. And now we can actually find out what some of the forces are because we know that it's all balanced. So I've written here, if the particle is at rest, or moving at constant velocity, there is no resultant force. So instead of saying that P minus 10 equals zero, we can just clearly say if there's no overall result force, that one must be equal to that one. Left must be equal to right, and up must be equal to down. We should just be able to go straight in and say that. So I've said here, given that this particle is rest, work out the value of P and R. Clearly, R is equal to 2G and P is equal to 10 because it is in equilibrium. Equilibrium means that the forces are all balanced. Forces up equals forces down, forces left equal forces right. So again, these are gonna seem pretty babyish, but I'm just wanting to kind of tell us these things as clearly as possible. It says, given that each of these particles is stationary, well, if it's stationary, that means that it's in equilibrium because there is no acceleration, so we can work out the value of P. Okay, well, how fascinating is this? The value of P is 10. Of course, the value of P is 10 because it's stationary. Everything is balanced. The value of P in this one is 30 because those ones are balanced. Notice also that the up and down are also balanced to each other. Oh, it's going to get a lot harder in this last one here. Okay, well, we've got the 10 and the 10 here, but now we can see we've got that 50, if my pen is going to keep responding, Good. So you've got 50 equals 2.5p. Divide both sides by 2.5. So 50 equals p plus 1.5p. So 50 equals 2.5p. So p equals 50 divided by 2.5, which you said is 20. Okay, so 20. Now that... If you're going to substitute it back in, it makes sense because you've got that one is 20. 1.5 times 20 is 30. So you've got 20 and 30 and 50. So they're just going to be balanced. If it tells you that it's not moving, you would say that it's balanced and you would make the forces equal to each other. So you've got two questions to try here that's going to take you, what, a minute, I think? <laughs> 